I guess because I did well in school, my parents had no idea that I could not see well. I was in the fourth grade when I got my first pair of glasses. Cat eyes. Lovely, huh? I remember that day so well. This is what a tree looked like to me before. We drove home and I couldn't stop looking out the window. The trees have little leaves on them, I exclaimed. Wow, there's little individual blades of grass. So I know firsthand what people can miss if they can't see. Maybe that's why I was so taken by the story I saw in June's National Geographic magazine. It's about a pair of glasses that people can adjust themselves. So even if you're in the middle of the desert or the Amazon rainforest, you can get a pair of glasses that will work for you. The concept is simple. The lens is basically an empty cylinder with hard plastic as its two bases. Silicon oil is pumped into the cylinder by the wearer. The volume depends on the power of vision needed. Once the wearer has the glasses like he needs them, they can take off the two syringes. There, a little less geeky. What can eyesight mean to a person? The inventor Josh Silver tells about meeting a 35-year-old man named Henry in Ghana. He had been forced to retire from being a tailor due to his poor eyesight. When Henry was given a pair of the glasses, he adjusted them, smiled, threaded his needle, and began to sew. The glasses can mean the ability to go to school, see your family, or even to hold a job. And then, of course, there is that other theory that this is a plot to make sure that even third world people look like Harry Potter.